Something shocking happened in my garden. Not slowly, not over years, almost overnight. The soil I thought I knew turned darker, softer, richer, and alive in a way I had never felt before. Plants stopped struggling. Water stopped disappearing. Roots exploded with energy. And the secret wasn't new at all. It was over two thousand years old, hidden in plain sight, and almost everyone is still using it wrong. This is the ancient biochar method that quietly built legendary soils long before fertilizers, irrigation systems, or modern science ever existed. And once you understand one critical detail most gardeners ignore, your soil will never be the same again. Biochar isn't new. What's new is finally understanding scale. For years, gardeners have tossed chunky biochar into beds and hoped for magic. The magic rarely showed up. That's because biochar doesn't work by volume alone. It works by surface area. When biochar is ground into an ultrafine dust, something extraordinary happens. Its internal structure opens up like a city of microscopic caves. Each particle becomes a hotel for microbes, nutrients and moisture. This matters now more than ever. Soil is losing life globally. Water stress is rising. Gardeners want resilience without chemicals. Recent microbial science confirms what ancient growers already knew intuitively. The smaller the biochar particles, the faster and deeper they integrate into soil systems. Dust-sized biochar doesn't sit in the ground. It becomes the ground. When you take chunky black carbon and reduce it to a soft dark powder, you're not just changing its size. You're unlocking its dormant power. Grinding biochar isn't complicated, but it does demand intention. For small batches, a heavy mortar and pestle works beautifully. Slow pressure matters more than speed. Let the material crumble naturally rather than smashing it aggressively. For larger quantities, a sealed home-scale mill or reinforced grinder can be used, but safety is critical. Always wear a mask. Biochar dust is powerful, but your lungs don't need it. Once ground, the sifting step separates average results from unbelievable ones. Using a fine mesh screen, sift until only powder and sand-like particles remain. Anything that feels sharp or chunky goes back for more grinding. The goal is consistency. Dust that disappears into soil the moment it touches it. If dust escapes during grinding, lightly mist the biochar before processing. This keeps particles grounded without reducing effectiveness. Clean tools after use to prevent build-up and uh, store finished dust in sealed containers away from moisture. This step alone transforms biochar from passive amendment into an active soil engine. Raw biochar dust is hungry. If you apply it dry and untreated, it will steal nutrients temporarily while it fills its internal pores. Ancient growers avoided this by charging it first, even if they didn't use modern terms for it. The most effective method is microbial infusion. For a proven formula, mix one cup of biochar dust with one gallon of water. Add one cup of finished compost or worm castings. Stir thoroughly. Let it sit for 24 hours, stirring once or twice during that time. This allows microbes and nutrients to colonize the biochar before it ever reaches your soil. For larger batches, you just scale the formula evenly. 
five gallons of water, five cups of biochar dust, and five cups of compost works perfectly in a bucket or barrel. The liquid should look dark and earthy, not thick or muddy. You want suspension, not sludge. What's happening here is, well, profound. Every grain of dust becomes a living vessel. Beneficial bacteria and fungi move in, protected from predators and drought. Once introduced to soil, they don't just survive, they thrive. This charging step is where most gardeners fail. And, you know, it's why results vary so wildly online. This is where the transformation becomes visible. Charged biochar dust can be applied almost anywhere you know. Mixed into potting soil, it improves structure instantly. Worked lightly into garden beds, it enhances water retention without compaction. A gentle dusting around seedlings strengthens early root development. Even diluted liquid applications work, believe it or not. Take the infused mixture, strain out large particles, and water it into soil zones where roots are actively growing. The microbes move first, and the biochar follows, settling into place. Plants respond quickly, as you might expect. Leaves deepen in colour. Growth steadies instead of surging and stalling. Roots branch more aggressively, exploring deeper layers without stress. What you're seeing is nutrient efficiency. Less waste, more uptake, and water staying where it's needed. This isn't feeding plants directly, it's rebuilding the system they depend on. The real magic is invisible. Biochar dust creates permanent infrastructure inside soil. It doesn't break down like compost. It stays put for decades, sometimes even centuries. Each application stacks benefits on top of the last. Over time, soil becomes more resilient to drought because water clings to biochar's internal surfaces. Nutrients stop leaching away because they bind to charged particles instead of washing out. Microbial populations stabilize, reducing disease pressure naturally. Repeated use builds carbon in the soil, improving structure without fluffiness or collapse. Beds stay workable, roots breathe, earthworms return. Chemical inputs become unnecessary because the soil does the work. This is why ancient soils enriched with biochar are still fertile today. Not because of constant feeding, but because of intelligent design. This isn't a one-time trick. It's a system. Each season you add charged biochar dust, you're reinforcing the foundation. You're turning your garden into a self-regulating ecosystem instead of a dependent project. Experiment with small areas first. Observe moisture retention. Watch root health. Pay attention to how long plants stay vibrant without intervention. These results compound. What started as a forgotten practice is becoming essential again, not because it's trendy, but because it works. Biochar dust is quiet power, ancient wisdom backed by modern understanding. This is the kind of knowledge that belongs in every serious gardener's toolkit, and it fits perfectly with the mission of Timeless Crops Haven, growing smarter, growing deeper, growing for the long run. If this opened your eyes, share it with someone who cares about soil, 
as much as you do. Subscribe to Timeless Crops Haven for more ancient techniques that still outperform modern shortcuts. Your soil will thank you for generations.